All right, so we're here at Rusty Surfboards in San Diego. We're just gonna go in and show you his round of um, here with my mates, Wade and Freddie. <laughs> and um, yeah, I've got a couple of boards to pick up. Uh, they've already picked up theirs. They've been on a trip down to Mexico. Pretty jealous. But um, yeah, I'll show you around the factory. Come check it out. Just in time. Surfboards. This is the boardroom, dude. Alright. It's got the winkle up there, it's got the evolution of surfboards over there. Is that Ollie? Yeah, that's like me going switch back in fucking 67. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we're in the boardroom. This is like when you just walk in, you kind of like. If you, I guess if you order a board or something, it's probably going to be ready here. Like we've got a. We got any customs in here? Stuff. Oh, yeah, we got a board for Ivan right here. A Watt model. This little thing up here is pretty cool. Evolution. Hey, check out this Padre board, dude. It's a little collab we did with the San Diego Padres. They've never collabed with the surf company ever, dude. And they came out here and made special limited edition Padres boards with Rusty. Can't buy them anywhere, can't find them anywhere. They might not ever be made again, but we got them here, dude. Rusty surfboards, ladies and gentlemen. Best in the biz. Let's go out to where actually all the, all the business happens, Ollie. Yeah. This is my favorite shot in the whole factory. Yeah, that's real good. There's a lot of good photos here, but if you have, if you have a little, little poll for that. This is Rusty's office here. He's, um, he's not in today because it was his 70th last night, and I think the man's due for a day off. A couple too many. Tins. Yeah, I think he might have had a couple beers last night. A couple? <laughs> yeah. Well, it was his birthday. Yeah. He deserved it. All right. Now, this is where the business happens. Party in the back, actually. Business in the front. Business in the front, party in the back. We got a Mark Ocalupo board right there, signed. Bring back the 80s. That thing's so cool. This is the, um, this is the smoko room. Go some beer. Done, I'll hold you. Done a little intro. What's up, boy? Thanks. How you going, man? Good, good. Excuse me. Yeah. Some of Wade's tuna that he caught the other day. Oh, a bit of blue fin. Yeah. No, that's Rhino's yellow fin. I'm pretty sure. Oh, really? Yeah. Can we just say it's your blue? <laughs> Letty, I got you a beer. All right. So these are all stock boards, I guess. That are available to sell. You want one? They're right there. We've got these little interesting things here, like. I guess they're like foam top normal boards or something. They, they have like, we don't have them in Australia, but they're pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I got your presents. Yeah. And all the little wake surfs here, they're pretty interesting. I actually was like getting sort of keen to um, maybe take this one right here, but like for the ocean. In the military, you're going back over. A bit of that going on over here in America. All right, longboards, help paddle boards for repairs. Priestendorf used to go to Tabarua every year. Ended up taking subs quite a bit apparently. Oh, this is funny. But collab with this kind of big wave. Really, a couple of guns getting around this place. I think I saw one for Jamie Sterling, maybe, over here. Jamie Sterling. Pretty gnarly big wave to it. So this right here is where the business happens. This is Rusty Freesendorfer's shaping bay, right? And here's a couple of boards that he whipped up for me. This one's looking pretty good, the, uh, the keg model. Wado's model. This one's a 510, pretty much 19, 2 and 3 eighths, I think. 28.5 litres. Should be fine. This little thing, the quad. Super fast. Pretty flat. It's like a new model that's coming out soon. Probably by the time this video comes out, it'll be out. The 1904. It's like an updated version of the SD model. Pretty cool, another like sort of flat board, probably go good for punts and stuff. 
So I think that's probably going to come with me down to Nicaragua, which is where we're going tonight. And then another fibroid twin. Who doesn't love a good twin? You like a good twin? Yeah. This one might be my favorite. This one might be my favorite. I've only ever had one twinny before, so this is my second one. I like the wings on it. The what? Oh, I like the wing. It's more of a wing, isn't it? it Heaps like it's a wing. <sighs> dropping food all over my new board. These are all the blanks. Hey mate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these are all the blanks. Pretty much like. Actually, a bit of everything in here. I think this one up here is for a gun. What have we got here? Oh, that's an epoxy blank. It's kind of interesting. It looks like styrofoam. What do you got over there? These are some plugs. <laughs> some foam plugs. Yeah, what are those things? So they, he was explaining to me, this is like the original, what they used to make the mold for the blank. So they right. Made this oh, mate. Oh, the mold for that, like for those. those. Yeah, but for the old. Yeah, because we were looking. They used to hand shape, so it had to be a lot more accurate. Like, yeah. Because wow. we were looking at them the other day, and I was like, it looks yeah, exactly was... like a blank that's just been glass. Yeah, that's, so it is like the mold. So then they did make the cement mold out of that, and then they just pour the foam in that when they make the things. Wow. Crazy. So, how old do you reckon these are? Well, like 30 years old? Or I think they're like 30 years old. Yeah. Wow. They're just sitting on the, above the base for so long. That's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Now it's probably all just like. Design filing, yeah, they're just keeping them for like memories. Just some, some yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we were guessing, we were like, what are these fucking things? Yeah, yeah you, I don't know, you might be able to make a board out of it still. <laughs> stick a big, stick a big single fin in yeah. them. Yeah. All right. Shaping bag number two. Oh, these are pretty cool. Couple little epoxy specials. The epoxy boards are so interesting, like. They're so light before they have resin on them. It's crazy. Um, how's that? I don't know what that's going to be. There's a lot of wondering going on here. Yeah. All right. Are they skin boards or little grum boards? Oh. Little super grum board. 410. So this is the new uh, Jake and Sakili model. Zeke's new quiver. <laughs> Brand stuff in there. Yeah. I'm sorry, doing the thing. That's crazy. Do you think this is one of like Rusty's earliest boards he's probably get shaped? Mm, I don't know. I mean, there are so many before that. You can tell that it's a Rusty board um, because he does this thing where it's like three, like like this, and it stands for me. So like, you'll, oh, yeah. if you see like that yellow Moby fish over there, yeah. has the uh, like his signature on it. Right. You can actually tell that it's his personal surfboard because of that. Oh, this thing, I was looking at this yesterday, actually. Yeah. Right. This thing is insane. I feel like this was made for a movie. But, um, yeah, there's some, like, crazy classified TXG. Dirty bomb. Pretty cool. There's so much like history and stuff around here. It's crazy. And then you like pick up your boards and you're like, maybe in 30 years time, my boards will be a little piece of history as well. <laughs> Probably not. Jump up here. This is like the, uh, I think in America they call this a loft. And there's a bunch of just random, random stuff up here, but I've popped my head up here and saw some really old, there you go. Kersey. That's a Kersey board right there. 
barely reach in there. But what else have we got? This might be a Kolohe Grom board. Yeah, Kolohe Grom board. Isn't that insane? This one, I've heard like a proper gem in here. Oh, it's one of your boards, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god. Where'd that come from? Well, who's the surfer that has that? Hang on. <laughs> what year is that? That's like fucking 87, hey? I don't even like know where this Two years in. Oh, yeah. How come yeah. um, this is up here? I got no idea, Ollie. This was Pretty funny though. Fucking pro surfers don't even know. Don't even know the board. I left a bunch of boards here last time. Yeah, it could be one of those. I think I found some cool stuff. Luke Egan. Whatever. This is all like your rails and all that. Oh, I can't get anything out of it. Yeah, okay. Luke Egan, 11. Oh wait, no, it's, it's America. The 23rd of the 11th, 1992. You ever wonder what Luke Egan was riding in 92? It's right there. Oh, well, let's see. We had the Look, archive. That's the rest of the American trip. The archive oh. lamb. <laughs> Oh wow. Yeah, I was like, I was just having like, a brain melt up here. I, like, I know, I was telling him I knew that you guys like all that stuff. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a surf nerd. Say the original ones. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we got Bob Sinclair. Yeah. Boxes of them. So, this is basically, <clears throat> these were what was sewn onto the garments. So, you know, black, brown, olive. Are these actual, oh wow. Yeah, these actually... were the actual patches that went on the, Material. I I want to say that this was on denim, wow. and then these are the these were the tags for your belts. Yeah, they're the ones I want. And then this was part of the boarding generation, so this is what went on the. Oh, the board riding. Yeah, so this is what went on the snow cloak. We actually made snow apparel. Have you seen that movie? No. The boarding generation. It's like snow surf and skate. It's all of ours. Yeah. I just I think I might have ripped this, the CD. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think we've got, and this was the chicks logo. Oh, that's so cool. I have, I still have stuff with that on it. That's super cool. Yep. And then, um, so then these are just some of the. I just kept some of the tags and stuff like that. Is it fit? Yeah. My husband did this. This was our first photo shoot in my garage. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, and so this was. Um, these are, what they call, s s pelhams, and they printed on the pelham. So those were the Pelhams, and then these were our first stickers. So it was R and everything else. So that was the name of that company. These are the, these were what was getting sold out. That's how you did it. You crossed yeah. it out if it sold yeah. out. That's so funny. And then, um, yeah, we. Oh, this was on t-shirts as well. Yeah, this was all on t-shirts. We have a t-shirt with Thanks. that one. I think that Rusty recently printed. Oh wow. For like um, the office. Wake, wake up, Michael, new model. <laughs> life off tour. Let's get out there, dude. <laughs> it's a hot. Wait, wait, it's life off tour, not that board. Yeah. It's called it. Okay, 2.0. Happy birthday to Rusty. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks everyone at Rusty for sorting us out and and um, being nice and letting us come through and annoy everyone. Um, got some lovely new boards here. A lady over here, he picked himself up a foamy and a signed copy of the latest Surface Journal magazine. R dot. The man. Um, oh. Yeah. Thanks everyone for being cool. See you soon.